Hello y'all, this is Hearts of Ice and Fire, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod that modernizes the world of Game of Thrones and brings it into Hearts of Iron 4. Let me just remind you, this modernizes Game of Thrones. This is why you will see armies serving feudal lords using rifles and bullets, not bows and arrows. With that introduction out of the way, in this video we are going to be playing as House Lannister. Here is a brief history of House Lannister. The richest house in Westeros has long enjoyed its position of power. Their limited but key involvement in Robert's Rebellion was just a taste of what the armies of the Westerlands can do if need be. Though their armies were left untouched by the war and their oil reserves are seemingly limitless, their influence has come at the expense of a bitter rivalry with the House Stark, and it seems that a new war is inevitable. We have begun. Let's go to our national overview. We have two national spirits, and they are the reigns of Castamere and disenfranchised navy. Besides that, the ruling party of House Lannister, who controls the region known as the Westerlands on Westeros, the continent of Westeros, is fascist, so this is a fascist country technically, in terms of ruling ideology. Besides that, the leader of the country is Tywin Lannister, who has the leader trait, Lion of Casterly Rock. And in Game of Thrones, Tywin Lannister is the Lord, Power, Lord Paramount of the Westerlands. He plays a major role in the story, as his schemes and plots he puts into motion greatly affect the continent of Westeros. Ultimately, though, he does meet his demise at some point, when he gets shot by his own son with a crossbow while he is on the privy. And let's go to our national focus tree. We're gonna start doing Queen's favor. This will take 70 days. The union, of House, the union of House Baratheon and House Lannister shall create the mightiest power Westeros has ever seen. We must strengthen our ties further. And if you're not aware, House Baratheon is the current ruling dynasty of Westeros. The the, what is it, the Seven Kingdoms, the Iron Throne, they control the Iron Throne, but the Baratheon here, he is married to Tywin's daughter, and if everything is to take place, the Tywin Lannister's nephew, I mean, his, yeah, no, his grandson is going to take power, and I think about that, that grandson is, how to say this, he, he had twins, Tywin Lannister had three children, two of them were twins, and let's just say, to make it, how to make it safe on YouTube, Let's just say the Baratheon king here, his offspring with his wife is actually the offspring of her and her brother. So let's just leave it at that. We have some research slots available. Let's start researching. Well, go to the research tree, do basic machine tools, just some essential opening stuff. Construction one. What else? Electronic mechanical engineering. Get that done. Unassigned divisions. We have 24 divisions in total. They're all like named after different houses and locations in the Westerlands, I believe. So here we are. They also have their own unique, I guess their own unique colors, I reckon. Like the national, well, the colors of the Lannisters. They're, they're red and yellow. Obviously, though, in a battle, that's going to get them killed. But it's still interesting to see that they have a unique, I guess, their own special model, which has been made to fit them. And... I do like the extra work the developers of the mod have come in for, have put in for something like that. And we have some civilian factories, start making more of those in the lines then. And our capital is, where is it, Casterly Rock, right here, the lines then. No divisions in basic training. Let's recruit, let's recruit an infantry division and get one in the queue at all times. We have a lot of military factories. And what does our divisions use? We need support equipment and we need artillery. We also need trains. So trains, artillery, support equipment is being made, put more stuff on gun manufacturing, more on fighters, and also more on close air support, these A-12s. And the Lannister's tech seems to be a mix of different countries' gear, I believe. Not entirely sure. We're going to have stuff made now. And do we need, what else do we need here? What are we missing? What do our air squadrons all use? Do we have any interwar bombers? No, we just have fighters. Okay. Let's make, say, what can we manufacture here? Make some more artillery for one. 
make some more fighters or no. Get some more. Do we have any tanks? We do. So what do they use? They use what? Equipment. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what they use. Forget that then. Let's just make... We've got to make a tank design, don't we? we got to do that later. We'll, do, we'll just focus on that later. But let's make more fighters then or closer. No, make more artillery. We'll do that. And that's all of our military factories assigned. Now let's build some ships. Build a lot of convoys for now. That will have to do. And let's go to our army commanders. We have 24 divisions. We have Jamie Lannister as our best commander. He is the son of Tywin Lannister, the lord of the Westerlands. So put his son in power there. We'll have him lead the force as a general. And let's have Tywin Lannister be the field marshal of the main army. Well, the army group of the Westerlands. Well, House Lannister. Do we have a navy? We do have a navy. So let's go bring the backup fleet, the Krakenhall submarine fleet, and the Lannisport fleet all together to create to create whatever we can call a death stack. It's not going to be the best of a death stack, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So let's merge these, merge these units together. Do we even have a navy? Oh, we have no admirals, I mean. Get a new admiral. Get Devon Hill here. Devon Hill. And let's unpause and bring the navy together. Good. Merge. That is done. We also have some special decisions for uniting the Seven Kingdoms. And then we have Tyrion's Tall Tales which cost a lot of political power to use. And here's a background event, I guess. House Lannister of Casterly Rock. No one quite knows the true origins of House Lannister, though most agree its lineage begins with the legendary figure Lan the Clever, who tricked the Casterlys into abandoning, abandoning their ancestral seat in Casterly Rock and taking it for himself. After that, his lands would eventually grow to become the Kingdom of the Rock. The Lannisters will continue to rule the Westerlands until Aegon's conquest, when King Rulion I Lannister submitted to the Targaryens after his defeat at the Field of Fire. For centuries, the Lannisters were loyal to House Targaryen, but their fortunes truly changed for the better once Tywin, Lan Tywin Lannister became Warden of the West, which is like a title. He brutally crushed Rain Tarbeck, Tarbeck Rebellion and was later appointed Hand of the King to Mad King Ares the heiress the second. A wedge soon came between them though, and after a fierce argument with the king, Tywin Lannister returned to Casterly Rock in 1913. This couldn't have come at a worse time, as Robert's Rebellion broke out the following year, and the forces of the Westerlands have stayed neutral. They decided to stay neutral for almost the entire war. So evidently, from reading this, in this universe, World War I is Robert's Rebellion in terms of the narrative and all that. In 1917, the forces of House Lannister appeared before the gates of King's Landing, claiming to have joined the war on the side of the king. That was a lie, and the capital was sacked by the forces of the Westerlands. The royal family was brutally murdered by Sir Gregor Clegane, and the Mad King was killed by his own king's guard, Tywin's son, Jaime Lannister. Since then, House Lannister has been a loyal ally of the crown new King Robert Baratheon even marrying Tywin's daughter Cersei. Not everyone was happy with the actions of House Lannister though, most notably the Starks of Winterfell who are up in the north, but there was nothing they could do about it. The Westerlands is the richest region in all of Westeros with great mountains and hills serving as a natural defensive line and arguably the largest army on the continent. Truly there is no one who can stand in the way of House Lannister. Their words are, hear me rule hear me war. So that is the motto, or the motto of House Lannister. Let's move our entire army over to, who's the biggest threat to us? Move the entire army to border House Tully here in the Riverlands. we got to keep a close eye on them. Queen's Favor is going to be done in about 40 days shortly. we got to just wait for King Robert I to die here, then I believe Tywin's grandson will take over. And that will get us an alliance with the crown, which is what we need. Do these guys have their own special models? I don't think, though. I don't think so. Okay, the Tullys look French. All right, then. Modify Officer Core. Theorist. Get a military theorist to get a cheaper land doctrine cost. Available planes are in the reserve. Don't worry about that. Missing equipment production. Yes, I know I need tanks. Insufficient resources. Rubber and tungsten. Let's trade someone. Principality of Dorne. Give us tungsten. Rubber. Get it from the Kingdom of Ling, which looks like maybe 
Siam or Thailand? They're over here, like in this big eastern continent called F Essos. I think that's how you call it, that, what it's pronounced as. But this is that big continent over here, and this is Westeros, this is the Summer Islands, this is Otos, which is really... It is... In the world of Game of Thrones, it's kind of this continent nobody from Westeros or... No one from Westeros or Essos really knows about it. It's very mysterious. But anyway, no national focus set. Let's start doing... What can we do? Conduct military exercises. Get that done or no. Infrastructure investments to get more... Get some, inf get some infrastructure built up. Modify government. What can we do? Go from civilian economy to partial mobilization. Do that now. And available planes in reserve. How many planes do we have? We have 27 fighters made. I'm not going to put any fighters out till we have 100 to fill up an air wing. We should be fine there. It would just take some time to get them in the, how to say, in the skies. And that is fast. Wow. Those factories are going up quick, aren't they? I mean, whatever. Keep building stuff then. Build more factories. We need more civilian factories. Since it's 1936, I would think we have more time to build things up. And Prince Joffrey's heritage is being questioned. This is the grandson of the king, I mean Tywin Lannister. Serious allegations were directed at King Robert's eldest son, Joffrey, during a par parliamentary meeting earlier today. This has dealt a serious blow to the king's authority. While Queen Cersei Lannister has openly called this a ploy of Ned Stark to oust the Lannisters from the royal court. Other members of the royal family did not comment on the rumors. It's, well, I mean, whatever. And so... This is like season one Game of Thrones, if you watch that, if you're aware of that, or well. It's leading up to the point where our son, the leader of the Starks is going to get beheaded. Anyway, slanderous rumors spreading further. We should have known better to, than to trust the common rabble to keep their mouths shut. Ever since Ned Stark started looking into the hair color of the Baratheon children, all sorts of rumors have been spreading. Not only do they question Joffrey, Tommen, and Myceria's parentage, but they even there imply that both Lannister children, Jaime and Cersei, Cersei, are having an affair. These rumors are hurting our family's prestige, and since we cannot cut the thong of every curious peasant, we need to find a permanent solution. We need to put these ugly rumors to rest, and we're going to now take it. We now have a national spirit that's going to provide us with a daily political power cost debuff which is bad. Research slot available. Let's research mechanical computing for faster research speed. That's the plan there. How's our military doing? This division's gonna be ready soon. Get more divisions made and then put another in the queue. We'll have two infantry divisions then. Modify officer core. What can we do? Let's get, say, get a chief of the army. Let's get Tybalt Betley here for army offense. Army offense specialist, that would be good. Do we need more infrastructure? Let me look at the train. Let me look at the infrastructure map. Infrastructure, railways. It's pretty brutal on the border here. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I may need to work on that once we get done with this initial set of factories. I will keep that in mind. We're going to need good infrastructure for any possible wars. And let's get a second army established now. And Gregor Clegane, who's one of our best commanders, he's the mountain in Game of Thrones. He's going to come down here and just watch over the well, house Tyrell in the Reach. That's that region over here to the south. And now in the focus tree, let's research, I mean in the research tree, you concentrated industry one. Also modify officer core, military high command, army logistics. That'd be fine. Get Gallon of Ashmark there. So we're now keeping an eye on two different countries at this point. Infrastructure investments is done. Okay. And in a focus tree, let's do open new factories to get some more civilian factories. I may, I'm going to go ahead and put, take a little bit of those, take a few civilian factories out of the queue here. Just cancel the construction so that we can focus on getting railways built up at some point in the future. That would be ideal. So let's go ahead and do this, like level this up, please. That's at the very top. What am I doing? Put it down here at the very bottom. It will, we'll get it done. It just has to be at the very bottom. So let me see here. Control click. That's not right. Build in place at the beginning of the queue. Oh, shift click. That's done there. Build this up also. 
and it'll take some time to build up these places. Where are these supply hubs? We have like two supply hubs. Well, four actually. Well, five. They're on the western part of the country. That could be a problem. Now on the focus tree, let's get excavation one. How, I mean in the research tree. How's our Air Force doing? We need a little bit more fighters, please. We're going to have to definitely use a lot of close air support for our wars. And how are we doing here? Missing equipment production. Let's get some cavalry for our infantry focused army. We also need some tanks. I don't have enough. I'm going to wait to get enough, how to say, military experience before I mess with the tank template. And now on the focus tree to get four focus, I mean four research slots. Let's do expand the University of Casterly Rock. Do that now, and that would take like 70 days, I believe. We need research slots so badly. And I may just continue onward to get five research slots in the tree. That might be a good idea, possibly. And now, modify Officer Corps. What can we do? Military High Command. Let's go the XI Kings. Oh, the 11 Kings tourney games have occurred. This is like the Olympics, I suppose. It's using the same event picture as the Olympics do in Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 do anyway. The 11 Kings tourney was recently held near Rosby on the, in the Crownlands. Attended by athletes from all over Westeros in 1936, King's Tourney was the first in history to have a representative from Ravos in the Summer Isles. The highlights were, was, the highlight was Beric Dondarrion breaking the world archery record. Other things of note was Sandor Clegane winning the Joust event due to forfeit due to a disputed finish of Loris Tyrell and the Gregor Clegane duel, and the games are concluded. I wonder what the Olympics would, buy, would be like today if they had jousting. I mean, it would be exciting, probably. Anyway, we have two ox cross, ox cross divisions made now. And that's done, so we're going to keep recruiting more divisions. Get them on the field, please. And we'll get them deployed. We are going to go ahead and put a third division in the queue. How are we doing with equipment? We need more, supply, we need more support equipment. We also need more artillery. Keep that in, we'll keep that in mind. And we have 107 interwar fighters in the reserve, well, in the, just in storage. Let's put them out now. Establish a new fighter air wing. Move them up here to the border with the Riverlands. Well, House Tully. And now we have another infantry division. Send them down to the south near Tyrell's, the Tyrell House. Modify Officer Corps. Spirit of the Academy. Bold attack. We'll go with that. And how is construction going. It's going alright. I'm getting so close to working on all that supply stuff. That's going to be a big issue for us if we don't sort it out now. And I definitely need to get some tank upgrades. Expand. University of Casterly Rock is done. Now in the research tree with our new research slot. Let's now research, say, radio. And also, in the focus tree, let's do the Lannister Mines. Get 40 oil. That's a lot of fuel. Tons and tons of fuel. That's going to be in Clegane Field. And that's just, that's pretty nice for our tank divisions to have tons of fuel like that. I think we have tons of supplies already. Well, we have 37 fuel, which isn't so bad. Who has the most fuel? But it's the Thori Republic, I think, does. And they're in Othos, which I believe I said it before, but that Othos is this continent down here, this landmass. And this is all, all this over here to the east of Westeros is, it is Essos, which as you can tell, it's pretty massive, and I believe with current lore and writing for world building, not much is really known about anything past here, I would say. So, the Masovian Empire, Ra, Yellow Empire, not much is known on them. Research slot available. Research, well, not much officially is known about them. Let's now do Concentrated Industry 2, also get the... Support Weapons 1 upgrade, get that done, modify Officer Corps once more, let's get ourselves an Artillery Specialist for Higher Artillery Attack, Military High Command, I'm going to wait to get the Armor Guy, I want to get Adam Marbrand for sure, we need more armor, our cavalry is ready, good, I'm thinking of making our armored units their own formation, I probably will do that, let me look at the traits here of our commanders, who has good armor, no, 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 that guy is hill fighter. He would be good for tanks. I'm not sure. We'll give it to Adam Marbrand then. He's like the specialist for it anyway, according to the officer corps stuff. Fair Castle Division. They're going to be sent south. 
No national focus set. Let's do build more factories to get more civilian factories. We need all the civilian factories we can get, quite honestly. And that also just gives us more factories we can use for trade if we have to. Just have them get sacrificed. And construction two, research that. Let's get that armored unit, all the armored units we currently have, break them off into their own units and just have them sit back in their armored divisions. We have Cougar, Lion, Tiger, Jaguar division. They're going to just sit back behind the lines for now with this army here. And here we go. So just put them here for now and set up in the rear. We'll use them when we need to, essentially. We need supply for them. I also need a tank design template. So let's look at the, actually no, more infantry divisions are ready. Go to Army 2, Army 3. This guy needs a unit leader trait. What can we do here? Guerrilla fighter. Maybe that might be good. He'll have faster entrenchment speed now. More divisions are ready. Go to the Golden Toot Division. Go to Army 1. I guess we want to replace those tanks. Let's get the Armored Puma Division. Move over to Army 3. Good. I really need to beef up these tanks. What do they even use for their template? They are using... They have basic light tank chassis, which is not much. It's like their, their tank divisions lack actual tanks. Decisions available. Prayers to the gods. And these are... The seven is the faith of a lot of Westeros, and that's who all these figures that are being referred to are. So let's say... Let's go with pray to... Actually, no, we got to save our political power. Forget that then. Build more factories is going to be done. Military high command. Adam Marbrand, I need more political power for him. I want to get him in charge of armor, though. Please, I need the armor guy. Also, we need light tanks. I know. Game, I know. So, can we modify this basic light tank chassis, please? We need to go with, say, small cannon. We'll do that for now. Do we have to? Heavy machine gun. Yeah, go with small cannon. Two-man turret. Two-man turret. Build more factories is done. Let me just pause to sort this out. Two-man turret. Can we change that? We'll just stuck with small cannon. All right, then. Special features. Let's have sloped armor. Also, what else do we need here? Is that it? Wet ammunition storage. No, I don't think we need that. Let's go to this. Bogey. Go to Christie susp suspension. And also, what can we do here? Up the engine a little bit. Engine 6, or no, engine 4, armor 6. Okay, that works for now, for a basic light tank design for the well, House Lannister at this point. Now let's do expand oil production in the focus. True, that is a lot of oil we're getting for us. Tons of fuel we're getting from this focus. We'll get 30 oil and I believe 10 aluminum. Is that right? That is, in fact, aluminum, yes. So we'll have a surplus of that at this point, and we can use that trade, I suppose. Export focus. We could go to free trade, potentially. That could be beneficial. A lot of people are going to want resources we have down the line. Radio is done. So let's start researching. Research this here. Construct, well, improved machine tools. Get that done. Available planes in, in the reserve. Let's deploy more planes then. Another squadron of fighters. And then we'll get some, well, a handful of, handful of, well, one Close air support squadron, move them over here. Get that done now. Research slot available. Start researching military police for future garrison while occupation duty templates. And how we're doing with equipment overall. Let's get ourselves more one more division in the queue for infantry. That'd be good. And are we starting to make our I mean tanks now? We should. I hope we are. Get this cavalry division up here to Army 1. I think, let me just, let me see, let me just see here. Do we have anything on tanks at this time? Are we, produ are we producing tanks? Not yet. We do need to do that though, definitely. And our railway construction is underway as anticipated. We just need to improve our supply situation with the border we have in the east with the riverlands. That will be done shortly. And expand oil production is going to be complete. Can we get that military high command guy we want? Yes, Adam Marbrand is now going to give our armor divisions higher attack and higher defense. Get this unit over here, Army 2 to in the south. All is going well. We'll probably move the next set of cavalry we train over to Army 1 because they just need something to replace the tanks. They gave up to form Army 3. Move this unit over here to Army 2. The Gold Road Division 
No national focus set. Let's do Westerlands Research Institute to get another research slot. We're going to have five research slots by 1937, which is pretty good, I will say. Let's get basic engine upgrade to get more modules, I believe. Yes or no, whatever. Oh, it allows us to get engine upgrade values to go up higher. All right, then. All right, more both civilian factories are freed up. Let's improve the infrastructure down here, then. Improve this, build it up, make it as good as possible. Build this up also. Just have the best rail best railroads we can have for ourselves. Okay, that's not working. Let's build more military factories then, all around the country. Well, should have built civilian factories instead. Build build civilian factories then. Can I just go to war with someone at this point? I want. I want. I feel like doing it. I really do feel like just attacking someone. This is killing me to wait. I want to do it. We could attack the Tyrells. Would anybody care? I mean, I don't know. I feel like they're we're just building up at this point. We're fascist, so we could possibly attack someone and just get away with it. I just want the plot to progress a little. Joff, well, Robert Baratheon's still on the throne. I wonder if we got to wait till 1939 for him to die so this world's version of World War II can be kicked off. Well, Westeros War 1000 because we just got to wait for some events to be set into motion. How are we doing with those tanks? Let's at least have those new factories we are making go on tanks, for sure. We need some of those, definitely, to be manufactured. And let's establish a close air support air wing. Get that, get that all done. There we go. Westerlands Research Institute is complete. Move all this stuff here to the Riverlands border. Well, House Tully border. And what can we do now? Let's open new military factories, get that done. And besides that, that's it actually. So in our research tree, let's research the next upgrade for fighters. Also the upgrade for... Let's research the Pandar F strategic bomber. So we'll have access to strategic bombers that could be useful to us. I don't know for sure though. And I'm just waiting for any kind of war to happen. I may just justify some on someone by 1938 if nothing does happen. I'm tired of waiting. Basic engine has been researched. Now let's start researching improved light tank chassis to get better light tanks put together. And we have some 103rd Infantry Division go to Army 2 in the south. That's done. Move this cavalry over here to Army 1. Good. We need at least a couple more cavalry units. Give at least, yeah, two more. Modify Officer Corps. Spirit of the Army. Let's go with, say... I don't know, professional officer corps, that works, that'd be good. Now, unassigned divisions, 104th Infantry Division, move them over to Army 2, send them south, and we're just building up our forces gradually. Do we have any more artillery? We're doing good there. Start recruiting more infantry divisions in. Logistics seems to favor Army expansion at this time. Also make more cavalry. Unassigned division here. Send them off to Army 2. Can we expand our template size? I hope we can. Yeah, we definitely need more troops. More infantry, 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 artillery. That's it. And so there we go. Now we have a big buildup in... We're going to have to use a lot of industry. So Dorne Mar Martel offers royal engagement. The leader of the Principality of Dorne recently met with our ambassador asking that the houses of Lannister and Martel become one. Dora Martel offers to wed his son, Prince Tristan, the Prince Princess Marcelia, as a way to finally bring peace to our nations. If we accept, we will also include a pact of non-aggression, which will be a huge help in securing our southern flank. Our southern flanks. Sure, brilliant idea. And for the record, the Principality of Dorne is down here, and Marcelia is the daughter of the king over here. Well, they're probably I don't know. Move this division here, though. Yeah, so Mycelia, Mycelia is the daughter of this guy. Although it is Tywin's granddaughter. In our focus tree, let's now start doing Denounce House Stark. We had to wait for that to happen. May have waited too long. Rumors about Joffrey's parentage. Yeah, we had to have National Spirit rumors about Joffrey's parentage. Goodness gracious, I waited so long. I did all that other stuff instead. I wasted a few months just doing everything else. Let's get some more artillery put together though, get more tanks manufactured, just keep the military industry of House Lannister rolling. 
get some more fighters deployed. That gives us like four air wing, well, four fighter air wings at this point. Three of them with 100 fighters each. So let's make some more artillery, please. All the artillery we will ever need. Research slot available. Goodness gracious. Let's get maintenance company done. That'd be good. And I'm really hoping we can start being more aggressive once this is done here. And what are we going to do? Probably mess with the, well, house totally to the east directly because they border us. And that would be the most entertaining thing to do, probably, I would say. So let's keep making more divisions, get all that done. Navy command, well, no Air Force command. Let's go with close air support. Tybalt of the Red Fork will be our close, well, our Air Force, chief of the Air Force. So he's a close air, close air support specialist, and that's who we'll have there. And I'm really hoping we can get ourselves into a war with House Tully, or at least just make them have a very bad time, quite honestly. So here's the plan. We're going to do the focus, denounce House Stark. That's in the process of being done. Then we'll complete the line of Lannister, bribe House Frey, which is House Frey is a vassal of House Tully, I believe, in the Riverlands. Then we'll do the focus, claim Iron Man's Bay. And after that, we'll do totally ultimatum, ultimatum. And if they choose not to give us what we want, we'll end up in a war with them, probably. I imagine. I assume so, anyway. We'll just have to see what happens. They also may get the help of the Starks of North, in the North, possibly, but we'll see what happens there. Also, the weird thing about House Stark is that they have some very independent vassals compared to everyone else. They lead a faction called the Northern Kingdom's Union, which consists of themselves, the House Bolton, House Mormont, and House Karstark, which they're related to House Stark through some distant relative. Besides that, though, they are guaranteeing the Tullys, which could be a problem for us, but we'll deal with it. More wars the merrier, I say. Modify Officer Corps, what can we do? Chief of the Navy. Let's go with Decisive Battle. And... How's the tank stuff going? It's going all right. We need more tanks, though, overall. That would be ideal. we got to get those civilian factories built up as well. And how's the train? I mean, how's the... I mean, the railways are done. What's wrong now? What's wrong with the supplies? What is wrong with the supplies? Manpower will not arrive. So attrition is brutal, apparently. So the issue is we'll arrive in such and such hours. They need more manpower. Why? What's the problem? Total, total attrition. Why are you hit so bad with attrition on the border? I gave you train. I mean, I gave you railway. Let me look at the infrastructure here. Railways. So what is wrong in these areas? Do they need a supply hub? I'll build one. I'm just going to build that then. That's, yeah, okay. Build one here and build one here. I don't care. Just build them. Get them done. They need railways, evidently. Those will take ages to build. But we'll get them done in the grand scheme of things. They'll be done. And get some artillery here, make more artillery. The tanks are being manufactured. It will take some time to slowly fill up the entirety of these divisions. Numbers with the PVT-1s, which they're going to be using. What is the problem with our divisions? I can only imagine the supply issues are just as bad for every other every other king, the well, family in Westerlos. Westerlos. Now let's do the Lions of Lannister. And it's, well, the Lion of Lannister. It says, in order to achieve our long-term goals, we must make sure we are allied with the right people. Some will be easier to convince than others, but in the end, we are doing them a favor by not destroying them instead. And House Stark announces an alliance with House Tully, calling upon the bonds forged during Robert's, Robert's Rebellion. The two great houses have declared a formal alliance with the intent of maintaining stability within Westeros. The new Northern Kingdom's Union officially ratified. Observers are now wondering if there will be anyone capable of standing up to the combined forces of the North and the Riverlands. So that is a problem for us. We have some new cavalry divisions, though. Let's give them over to Army 1. And at this point, let's go ahead and combine Army 1 and 2 together. We'll give, get them on the same front line. And besides that, get all these units under the same army group and give Tywin Lannister a trait. Let's go with organization first, get a higher reinforce rate, good. So let's have Army 1 and 2 of House Lannister set up on the border with the Riverland, well, House Tully, and get ready to advance. 
when the time comes. Modified government, what can we do? Political advisor, let's go with Tyrant. Tyrion Lannister, who is an imprudent imp. He has that trait. We could go with, I don't know, let's go with Gregor Clegane instead, who gives us non-core manpower, a higher daily compliance gain, and root out resistance mission effects. Well, it makes it easier for us to do that operation mission. And he has the trait, the mountain. Well, that's the type of advisor he is. Do we have an intelligence agency? Let's establish one. The Bureau Itchlichten, whatever. I think it's just some generic name, possibly. Or maybe just a name of some place I'm not aware of the name of. We get, let's research improved imagery equipment one, get all that done. Set up our forces on the border with House Tolly. And I don't know where to put those tank divisions at here. We could put them in the north near Iron Man's Bay. That might be a good call because, I mean, we need planes. These tanks we have need to operate in the flattest terrain possible. Which, to be fair, the Riverlands House Tully has tons of flat plains terrain. They also have swamps. They have marshes, which could be an issue, but I think with all the plains they have, all the, yeah, just the flatlands they have, it could be easy for us to just advance here also to River Run, push in the center with our tanks. Yeah, it might be the best call. Course of action for our armored units. Now let's research Volker TV. Also research the A-17. No, that's too advanced. The research ahead of time penalty is too bad. Let's go with synthetic oil experiments. Outdated equipment in production. Make more advanced fighters, please. That'll take some time to get done, but it will be done. Get some more close air support in the field, in the skies, I mean. Get some more fighters in the skies as well. And let's improve, we'll move these planes around here to a different air base, the Tumblestone. That's all done now. Let's go ahead and deploy all these planes to do close air support and air superiority. I'm a little concerned about the House Stark Air Force, but we'll deal with it. And here we have some more divisions ready. Get them over to Army 1. That's going to be fine. And we have the Bureau Ichlichten created. Maybe that is a custom research, I mean, intelligence agency. I don't know. Here's a new division, though. Research slot available. Let's get improved engine. Also, let's go to our research intelligence agency and say, what can we do here? That would be good. Let's go with form department of cryptology. Encryption and decryption would be a useful thing to have. I mean, deciphering the enemy's positions and such. I'm. Oh my goodness. I hope the supply network will be done. So I mean, the supply hub will be done soon in the north. Get more infantry divisions here. Move through their positions. I believe it will take our units some time to be ready to go when it comes to artillery, but we are doing fine with, norm well, weapons. We're doing fine there. The tanks are nearly complete, so let's start making more armored divisions. We have bypassed a focus, royal marriage with House Martell. And where's that at? It's over here. So let's bribe House Frey now. And what can we do? All for royal marriage to House Tully and invite Dorne. I may do all that. The Crown Lands sanction they sanctioned us. It seems that someone within the King's Circle, as we can't guess that it's Ned Stark, has convinced the King that we are a threat. Incredibly enough, the Fool actually believed him. One of our emissaries that was there even claims that when Queen Cersei spoke of in favor of us, Robert slapped her, his own wife. Because of this, we now have to endure three years sanction, no doubt to finance another one of the King's Feast. Perhaps it's time to retire King Robert the First Baratheon. That's pretty br bad. Bribe House Frey has been cancelled. And what are we going to do now? I mean, we have to do invite Dorne to our faction. I mean, we got the royal marriage established, so we might as well. They don't share a border, but I mean, got to work with what we have. What we have, indeed. So let's get naval bomber researched also. Get an operative. Get Margaret Vos here. And I see someone named Shay is an operative option. That is a reference to, I guess that's technically, I don't know. She's a character from the books, well, from Game of Thrones. How is the Daenerys doing? Oh, the Free City of Atlantis? No. Where are they at, even? Are they gone? Oh, House Targaryen's right here. And Doran Martell invites Princess Marcella, Mycera, to Dorne. Times are tough, and Westeros became, has become a dangerous place. Due to this, Dorne Martell has formally approached us with an offer to house their future princess in their homeland. Many advisors agree that the neutral, neutral Dornish lands will be much safer for her. However, there are those in power, namely her mother, Cersei Lannister, who are completely against 
Princess Marcelia going anywhere. Let's have her stay right here. Yeah, sorry, she can't leave. That's the granddaughter of the Warden of the West. And the Tyrant Lannister sends off Princess Marcelia. That is the son of the king doing that. Yeah, he went behind the king's... Well, the son of Tywin Lannister went behind his back. Free military factories. Let's make more artillery. Put that together. No enemies being decipher while decrypted. No enemies, no enemy ciphers being decrypted. Let's go with House Tully then and improve our cryptology department. Let's go with Radio Interception Group. Get that done now. And research slot available. Let's go with, say, 1934 Medium that researched also what else can we do here that would be relevant artillery upgrades those are important let's get interwar artillery and now we have some new new division here cavalry give it over to army two good let's also take that operative we have the singular operative of house lannister and build an intel network up in well in the well in the riverlands and how is that focus here invite dorn will be done soon now I we'll have to just do the focus. Viserys Targaryen has been killed as the brother of Daenerys Targaryen that's over in Essos. And if you don't know who they are, don't worry about them. They're not really relevant to us for now. And the Principality of Dorne accepts the invitations to the Westerlands Alliance. The Principality of Dorne has decided to accept our offer to join the Westerlands Alliance. Henceforth, we shall attend, well, I mean, we shall stand or fall together. And that's a new, well, that's an ally for us who has, how to say, they don't have many faction, but they don't have many... Well, they have... I don't know, they might fight House Greyjoy. Well, House Greyjoy may also fight House Tyrell, so let's not worry about that. Let's now do the focus, befriend the Tully, since we have a change of plans. This means House Tully will start getting a fascist influence. And I mean, we should use our, our operative to boost our ideology support in the Riverlands. Might be a good idea. Also in the focus tree, well, in the military doctrines, Let's go with superior firepower, because it's just good. We'll get our divisions more soft attack. They're using so much so much artillery anyway. And we've got to get more divisions deployed. How are we doing with guns? We need more artillery. Radio interception group is done. But now, intelligence agency, let's go ahead and do psychological warfare to get the propaganda mission effects to go higher. Just so we can have better odds of boosting the ideology of House Lannister in the Riverlands, well, in House Tully ter territory. Now let's go to that operative now, have her start doing boost ideology, would that work? Yes, do that, please. Just make fascism more popular in House Tully's lands. I still can't get over this attrition we have on the border. That is just brutal. Why is it so bad? What is the problem? The attrition, what is the issue with it? I mean, I have, I don't know. It can't be that rough. I, I don't know. I built up railways, supply hubs have been constructed even. It shouldn't be as rough as it is. What can we do now? Research is not available, I believe. Let's start doing this. Go to G1 Mercury Research. Heavy fighters will have heavy fighters for us. Go to operative, I mean cryptology department. Let's get ourselves a decryption upgrade. And this decryption effort will take some more time to be done, but it will be done eventually. But friend of Tully's is nearly complete. I want my war, Dagnabbit. And now we got to wait for fascism to be more popular in the Riverlands. Or it may just justify on them, I don't know. But let's go here and do the focus rule with fear. And this will get us a national spirit. The key to keeping morale high is to make sure that the, that the soldiers fear you more than the enemy. And this will give us a national spirit rule with fear. And this will give us offensive war penalty stability modifier plus 20%. Defensive war penalty stability modifier plus 20%. And that will be just to make sure everything's more stable for us. After that, we'll do usurp the monarchy. And we'll just do all that while fascism becomes more popular in Riverlands. So we can secure ourselves. And House Targaryen declared war in the La Larazine Republic. Alright then. And how popular is fascism at this point? It is going to take some time to be more popular, isn't it? Fortunately, though, they don't really have anything that can counteract the popularity of fascism in holy territory so that's good for us since it will take some time for fascism to take a root there radio interception group has been researched and can i get more i need more oh we're in negative political power now that's bad unassigned divisions get them over here we got to usurp the monarchy that is that sanction stuff is annoying 
Those royal sanctions are ridiculous. And rule with fear will be done. And we got naval bomber researched. Good. Let's go to... Let's research motorized. Interwar artillery is researched. Now let's research, say, whatever this is. Support weapons too. Get that done. Rule with fear is going to be done eventually. We definitely need to use Earth the Monarchy. Let's get it over with. Robert Baratheon has to go. While fascism is growing more popular. Let's deploy some tank divisions. The Cheetah, the, what am I saying? The Cheetah Armored Division go to Army 3, please. Let's, in fact, give these units more, more tanks, please. Just give them more oomph overall. More light tanks there. Also give them a maintenance company. Just to help with tank maintenance. Good. Rule with fear is done. Let's use the monarchy. Get that process started. I may have waited too long, but let's get it done anyway. I just need I need Robert I out of the picture if we're going to go against the Starks and the Tullys and everyone else in the Northern Kingdoms Union. More divisions are ready here. Go to Army 3. I mean, Army 2. We'll have to make a new Army. Army 4 at this point. And I don't know a good tank division template. Now I think about it, i got to really rethink that there. Concentrate Industry 3, get that started. Also do Advanced Machine Tools. Can we change the design for the tanks we're using at all? I want more advanced tanks. Or just better ones. Improved light tank chassis. Let's go get a no well, close support gun. Get that there. Two-man turret. Please, two-man turret. House Targaryen. Sign a white piece, I think. Get more engine upgrades. Armor 4. It's done. That's the best we can do for armor. Engine type. Keep the engine we have. Armor. Riveted armor. Let's go with cast armor. Is the difference any better? The armor slightly improved, but, di but production is cheaper. I guess we'll go with cast armor, then. They're slightly more expensive to make. I believe, yeah, they're more production costs. The higher production costs, but they're better, I believe. So we'll make a mix of two of them. And now we need more tungsten. Let's get that from our allies and Dorne. That will work for me. And it will take some time to usurp the king. But once it's done, it's done. And we'll have the grandson of Tywin Lannister on the throne. So let's get this over with. Bribe the king's guard. That will take 35 days. At least it doesn't take 70 days. How is fascism doing in the Riverlands? How is Tullyland? It is at 16%. So we need it to be at 30%. The Red Comet has been spotted. And that is some, I guess, symbolic event. Some mist well, some prophetic event there that just occurred. And who's going to lead Army 4? I don't know. we got to find a commander. Here we have a new, some more research. Let's start researching Construction 3. Available planes in reserve. Let's get this done here. We'll get a new squadron deployed. Get some close air support out here. That's all done now. Get another fighter squadron deployed. And at this point, I'm just going to... Okay, that's fine, yeah. I'm not going to have to worry about deploying any navy anyway. I was a little concerned about oil expenses, but it's whatever. And King Robert Baratheon has passed away. How shocking. Robert I Baratheon has passed away. T today, the entirety of Westeros is in mourning to pat, well, is mourning the passing of King Robert I Baratheon. Sadly, before all the visitors could have set the baylor even had the chance to say their final farewells, controversy has already risen. His elder, his eldest son, Joffrey I Baratheon, is not yet of age and would require a regent to rule in his place. A lot of higher-ups in the government were under the impression that those duties would be given to Robert's wife, Queen Cersei Lannister, but by his own request, that role was given to his close friend, his close friend Eddard Stark. Though Lord Stark of Winterfell has already stated that he hopes to maintain peace within the Seven Kingdoms, there is already a vocal minority within the government that claims he is seeking to take the throne from Joffrey I. Once again, the Starks get in our way, and the Starks are our rivals at this point. And now in the focus tree, let's get a royal marriage, offer a royal marriage to House Tyrell, who controls the reach to the south. House Tyrell is the second richest house in Westeros, and it's important that we get them on our side. We could sway them by offering to wed their eldest daughter, Marjorie, to our Tommen. And that will be done shortly. So now I guess King Joffrey is in power here. No, Eddard Stark is technically on the... He's controlling the crown lands for now, but let's get Bergman MP28's research. How is fascism popularity doing here? It's going up gradually. It's at 21%. 21 
give it a little bit more time while we do diplomatic moves. Do we need more guns? We need more, oh, more support equipment, okay. Work on that. And now we're building more civilian factories and House Tyrell agrees to the engagement. Though it is important to know that even though a huge part of this deal favors us, they didn't seem to mind it at all. It makes you wonder if the Tyrells are up to something. The alliance is important. And we've got a non-aggression pact with them. Let's invite the Reach to our faction. I mean, we have a non-aggression pact and everything. They better join. They should. I hope they will. And now let's start improving relations with them just to try and get them to definitely join our faction and don't back out of any deals. And in the research tree, let's go with Interwar Armored Car. Get that researched, please. And yeah, invite the Reach is being done. We need more factories, more military factories. We've got to make... We gotta make support equipment. We need it badly for our upcoming war. Our divisions need it desperately. And how is fascism doing here? The AMT is gonna be more popular soon, I hope. For the sake of House Lannister, anyway. And how long is this gonna take? Invite the Reach would take seven, 70 days. What else can we do? Can we become the leader of the faction yet, please? That would be great. Become Spymaster, yes. Now we have another operative. Good. I think we can get another operative. Get our intelligence improved here. Go with army department. Get higher army intelligence. And we're going to have to use spies a lot. Well, subterfuge will be critical for us to win our wars. Well, at least get everything decrypted that our enemy is trying to hide. And we, we need those buffs we get from decrypting their cipher badly. And I still can't believe this attrition issue on the border. It is rough. Now let's research in the research tree. Get this done here. Oil processing, higher fuel gain from refineries. That's being done now. That research is. Invite the reach will be done in, well, that's a 105 day focus. I did not realize that. Whatever, it'll be done. Also, how is fascism doing here? 25%, need a little bit more to drive it over the edge. We need army department has been researched. Well, that upgrade is now available to us, to our research well our intel agency let's research some more artillery stuff also passive defense get that done now we need more operatives really we just need tons of operatives doing boost well boost ideology missions in the riverlands that's why i'm focusing so hard on the intelligence agency in older versions of hearts of iron 40 could just made a decision here in this menu but that's no longer the case you have to rely on intelligence agencies to do it for you the operatives have to do it and to get operatives, we need upgrades. So an operative will be available soon. Good. Now let's get Shay here, who is a seducer, and have her go into a message from Stannis Baratheon. I, Stannis of Baratheon, have declared upon the honor of my house. Then my brother, Robert Baratheon. Oh, he said Robert Baratheon left no true heirs. The boy Joffrey, the, the boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Mycella are born of incest between Cersei Lannister and her brother, Sir Jamie Lannister to Kingslayer by right of birth and blood, I to this day lay claim to the Iron Throne of Westeros. Let all true men declare their loyalty. How true are these claims? They can't be true. That would be bad for House Lannister if they were, so they obviously can't. And now, in the well, we're waiting for High House Tyrell's reply. I guess let's do what can we do? Let's go ahead and do the focus conduct military exercises for now to get more army EXP. And Tyrell said yes. So now we have a big connected alliance for Principality of Dorne, House Tyrell, and House Lannister. And I'm thinking we're going to end up fighting House Baratheon, House Tully, House Aaron, House Stark, and all their puppets. Well, their subjects, really. Doctrines available. Let's do delay, unlock that to get higher organization for our infantry. Also, what else can we do? Research slot available. Excavation 3. That's going to be started now. At least we don't have to worry about sanctions anymore since Robert I is dead. And who is ruling the West, the Crownlands? Okay, it's going with the Rathwell. The Starks control it still. Is fascism popular enough in Tully land yet? No, it isn't. Well, for us to do our focus in the cipher for House Tully is fully deciphered. Does anybody want to join a faction? The Crownlands. Okay, good. Welcome, House. Well, Joffrey I Baratheon. Eddard Stark is gone. And now we have a war. Great. So now there's a huge war. The war has broken out, and that is great. So let's head in now and aid our allies. House Tyrell, we're helping them out. House Tyrell at this point is led by Marjorie Tyrell, who is the 
wife of Tommen Baratheon at this point. We throw the wife there. So who can join our faction? House Greyjoy wants in. So we have all the fascist rulers of Westeros grouping up. And is that the Iron Guard? I mean, the, the Ironborn having the Iron Guard. That would make sense, wouldn't it? But let's push into ter enemy territory now. Advance on the Lannisters. Hear me, war has been bypassed. And the war has started. Can we still get our coup? Though we could, as awkward as it is. Oh no, we have to be at peace with them. What can we do then? Let's go ahead and do the focus metal in Northern Affairs shortly. Here's some lend lease from the Principality of Dorne. Let's bring our tanks to bear here and try to punch through the eastern, well, the central part of the, the central part of the, I mean the central part of the, central part of the Lannister, I mean the Tully front lines. There's a huge wide front here too. The Iron Bank offers a war loan. Do we need it? Is it worth it? The feeling that our side is justified in our war with House Stark, the Iron Bank of Bravos, who is an Essos. They have offered to support our efforts with a one-year loan as long as we are able to repay it. Sure, we got to use it. Research slot available. Let's get some Marines research. So we have, we have outdated equipment and production. What do we need to replace now? Guns. We need more advanced guns. So we have House Lannister here, House Tyrell, House Baldorn, Crown Lands, and the Greyjoys. That is our faction. The Westerlands Alliance is taking on the Northern Kingdom's Union. And I really want that coup. I wanted that coup so badly in this territory, but I don't think it's going to happen. I could have waited for the war in retrospect. Let's push with these tanks now. Break through. Get it done. They can get it done. Are the planes in the sky like I wanted them to be? They are. What do they have here? They have so many fighters. Wow, that's a lot of fighters. Good thing I built up somewhat of a modern air force. Many more fighters, though. Get more fighters in the sky over the Riverlands. Also get some more close air support. Put them out in the field, well, in the skies as well. We just got to overwhelm the enemy's air force. Also weaken the, weaken the, weaken the Tullys and Starks as much as we can. Activate this decryption, decryption bonus. Yes, that is active now. And also technology research. Let's get improved artillery upgrade. An operative can be recruited. Lana Starsfeld. What is her name? Lana Starsfeld. Get her here. Go into River Run. Boost Intel Ideal. Boost. Just build an intel network all over the territory of the of the Tollies. And the Greyjoys have landed in Iron Man's Bay. That has taken place. We're definitely going to have to meddle in Northern Affairs. We need to divide the North for sure. So, Interwar Armored Car is researched. What can we do now? Get basic Armored Car. So, I'm just advancing here as much as I can. It's not going so well. Conduct military exercises is done. Metal in Northern Affairs. I really hope the... Yeah, they're going to have to deal with that landing. Which is good for us. So, Greyjoys are being useful here. Definitely. If we could just have a fashion, have a Civil War in House Tully land, that would be great. And are we fighting... We're fighting... Who are we fighting here? Anybody? Guess not. We aren't fighting Renly Baratheon just yet. In the Stormlands. So, let's get, get computing machine done. There's so much things we have to worry about. Keep advancing, though. Push forward with the tanks once again. Did we gain any ground? I don't think we did. Nothing changed. We just failed. It's so bad attrition here. So maybe we could just move up north with one army. We could. Get these troops here. This is going to be it for a while. Get these units deployed. We're going to create a new army. Move them all the way over to that place in Iron Man's Bay. And try to move in from there against House Tully. That might be a good idea. Get these units deployed. Recruit one infantry division at a time. That'd be fine with me. Army 4. Army 4, led by Amori Lorch. Get up here and push. That's all you gotta do. Push. Just pu push back House Tully. Help the Greyjoys out, I guess. And their Iron Guard. And their the enemy is advancing now. We're holding. Why is the attrition so rough? It's ridiculous. Just get up here and prepare to push, get it done. Just annoy the enemy if we have to advance here. They're not really prepared for any type of fighting here, it looks like. So the Greyjoys are making a lot of progress. We have some tanks up here also. This is ridiculous. Why is our advance struggling so much? Meanwhile, this one's going so well. Whatever. It is opening a new front though, which is what we need. Do we lose a province even? We did lose a province. Why is the attrition so rough? I built up everything. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. 
And I think this is going to be a playthrough for House Lannister in this mod. We're losing ground even. Whatever. I'm going to end what is going to be part one here of this playthrough. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.